Hey guys, what's up? Richard Cooper, founder and CEO of Total Debt Freedom. In this video, you're going to learn about the four letter F word that keeps most people in credit card debt. It also happens to be the same four letter F word that ruined me for the first 18 years of my life. Stay tuned and check it out. So you're probably wondering at this point, what happened to me for the first 18 years of my life that ruined me? And when I was about two years old, I was born in England, I was living there, I pulled a kettle of boiling hot water on myself. And the scalding hot water uh, burned my skin to a third degree, basically, and left me with um, pretty significant scars. You see them on both arms, they're on my chest, they're on my neck. As early as I can remember as a kid, I was always wearing long sleeve shirts and turtlenecks. In fact, in one of the earliest pictures here, you can see that. It didn't really hit me until the first day of kindergarten when kids would grasp their neck when they would see my neck and make that ooh face. They made that oh gross look and they even said it sometimes and that hurt. And that was the first time that I knew I was different. When I was burned to the third degree, I was in a hospital for months. The doctors weren't sure if I was going to live. You remember shirts and skins in school when you were a kid? how the gym teacher would divide you up into shirts on one side and skins on the other. It devastated me because I always wanted to sit back in the corner or hide or crawl up into a ball. I always needed to be on the shirts team and I guess luckily the teacher knew about my scars and they always put me there but it, it, it literally crippled me. Some of you probably remember Nightmare on Elm Street and Freddy Krueger, right? If not, here's a picture of him. I was 11 years old. It didn't help that they made about four different versions of that movie over 10 years, but every kid in high school pointed to the fact that my scars, neck, chest, arms, and everything, reminded them of Freddy Krueger's face. I remember when I was talking to a girl that I really liked, she thought it was funny to make fun of me and my scars, and I went home and I cried that night. When I was a teen, the scars were very, very uncomfortable. I was growing fast, the skin was tight, and it always felt like it was stretching up against it. It wasn't until I was about 16 or 17 years old that I found any photographs in my parents' albums of me on a beach or anywhere hot without a shirt on. There it is. When I was 18 years old, my parents took me to the hospital in Toronto to talk to the plastic surgeon about further reconstructive surgery to try to fix my scars and make me look, I guess, normal. And I turned it down and I had a mind shift and it was that moment for me that I realized that I had lived under, control, under the control of this four letter F word. And it's the same four letter F word that ruins a lot of people's lives in a lot of different areas, including personal finance. And I'm gonna connect the dots for you right now. The four letter F word, it's the word fine. I felt everything would be fine if I just wore a shirt at the beach. Everything would be fine if I just got to wear a shirt for the shirts and skins versus game. Everything would be fine if I wore a turtleneck in June, covering up my neck and my arms. I figured everything would be fine for the rest of my life if I just hid the fact that I was scarred. And it wasn't until I was about 18 years old when my parents took me to that hospital and the doctors, you know, walked me through what it was going to take to try to reconstruct my arms and my neck and my chest to make me look a little bit more normal that I realized, why would I want to do that? Why can't I just accept that things aren't fine and that I am who I am and that I have a problem and that I can put it behind me? So that's what I did. I came to grips with myself. I loved myself. And the thing that I realized was that everybody has scars. Scars are really just life's way of proving that you were stronger than whatever tried to kill you. And that's the moment that I realized the four letter F word didn't control me anymore. A lot of people get stuck in credit card debt and totally screw up their personal finances and they go on this vicious cycle for years and years and years. We see it here all the time because people will inquire with us three, four years ago and then again this week they'll talk to us and yet they still don't do anything because they think everything is fine. They can manage. Four years ago, they had $30,000 in debt. Now they've got $80,000 in debt. Are things really fine? Let me ask you if things are really fine if you're 100 pounds overweight and you haven't seen your feet in three years. Are things fine then? 
How about this scenario? Are things fine if you haven't had sex with your spouse for the last year and you're married and you live in the same house and you see each other every day? Are things fine then? We got to stop as a society using the F word, the fine word. You're either great or you're not. Things are amazing or you have a problem that you need to deal with. There is no treading water. There is no things are fine. Fine doesn't work. Fine is what keeps people in debt. Fine is what kept me ruined for 18 years of my life to a point where I almost wanted to commit suicide. Fine does not work. So if you're treading water and you haven't got anywhere with your credit card debt and your personal finances are a mess, things are probably fine. You're telling yourself in your head, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You probably aren't. If you're not paying off your credit card balances, and you see them continue to drag along month after month, year after year, and what you're doing isn't working, things are not fine. You need to change your behavior and take a new course of action to get out of credit card debt. You're on this merry-go-round, spinning around and round in circles, trying to throw a payment here and there, thinking things will be fine. People won't know about it. Your spouse won't hear about it. And maybe something, someday something will work for you. Just like I was the kid hiding in the back of the gymnasium hoping the teacher wouldn't pick me for skins instead of shirts. Things aren't fine. If this is where you are, talk to us. We understand. We've helped thousands of people get out of credit card debt. We've saved Canadians millions of dollars by settling with their credit card companies for them. Talk to us today about an alternate solution. Things don't have to be fine. Things can be awesome. You can get off the stupid merry-go-round and pay off these credit card companies and put them behind you. Do what I did when I was 18 years old. Come to grips with yourself if you're stuck on a merry-go-round of debt and recognize that things don't have to be fine. They can be better.